Hennessy Sports now bring you a super middleweight contest. This bout is scheduled for four three-minute rounds of boxing. Timekeeper ringside is Martin Fallon from Wolverhampton. Upon the sound of the bell, the scoring referee in charge of this contest is star referee Victor Lachlan from Barhead, Scotland. Boxing out of the blue corner on the scales officially at 11 stone, 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Standing in the ring with a career wins of 15 to his credit. This evening he's wearing the black shorts trimmed with white and boxes out of Stourbridge, West Midlands. Introducing Kevin McCauley. And across the ring, boxing out of the red corner stands his undefeated opponent, officially on the scales, at 11 stone, nine pounds, one ounce. Eight fights, seven victories, and one draw make of his record. Wearing the black shorts trim with gold, and boxing out of Birmingham. Introducing the body breaker, Idris Virgo. For the first round. So it's a ninth professional outing for Idris Virgo, former Love Island star. And he hopes that one of these days we can introduce him without mentioning that. But for the time being, we have to, I think. And he's taking on a very seasoned pro in the shape of Kevin McCauley. This is 236th professional fight. And he's going to be a tough opponent, Richie, for Idris Virgo. Yes, very tough indeed. You'd look at his record and think, well, this should be a walk in the park for Idris Virgo. But nothing could be further from the truth. McCauley's been in there with everyone. He's very difficult to stop. He's always competitive, always thinks he can win a contest. And yeah, he, uh, he's, a, he's a great learning curve for, for any young boxer coming through. And this should be good for Idris Virgo because to, to stop McCauley would obviously be a, a, a fantastic result. George, he's as tough as old boots, this McCauley. He started well behind the jab, a long, a long jab, and he's pulling back off of it and he's giving... Um, Virgo starting to think about there in the, in the very first round. Now Virgo calls himself the body breaker. And of course, he has a big social media following after the appearance on Love Island. He's involved in a little bit of controversy as well, showing disrespect to opponents. But actually, he's quite a grounded individual. A lot of it is for show, and he just wants to get better as a boxer. Talk of that meeting with Jack Fincham, another star of Love Island. He's also turned pro. And that one just being put on ice for the time being. Looking for those body shots already, though, Virgo. He's doing OK up to now, Virgo. He's, he's varying his work behind the jab and looking for that left hook to the body. He spoke about McCauley, how experienced he is. But so I think um, here, Virgo started pr pretty well. And again, there's that left hook downstairs. You can... You, know, you can see McCauley, he's not struggling, but at the same time, he's, um, he's gasping for air here and there, and that's mainly because a couple of those left hooks have got, got through downstairs. That was a, a left hook against Josh Hodgins that had everyone talking. That one punch knockout, the body shot, you could hear the exhalation of breath, it was uh, widely available that on the internet. Got him a good old bit of publicity, Idris Virgo, and this is a, a very impressive opening round so far, George. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's, he's landed some real good shots, a couple of good shots um, to the body. He started to um, anticipate that jab, he took a couple there, but before then he was countering off of it. At the same time, McCauley is um, finding a home with his right hand. He's sort of leading into his left before he throws, varying it, sometimes head, sometimes body. He's had a few right hands himself this round. Virgo finishing in the centre of the ring here against the seasoned Kevin McCauley. Decent opening round, I think, for Virgo. And there's McCauley there, just at the start of the contest, just um, 
showing him a left hook. But there's a couple of left hooks there from Virgo, switching the attack from body to head. So it wasn't too bad, and there's another left hook there, just trying to get under the, the elbow of McCauley. But a decent round, I think, for, for Virgo. Yeah. You've got to up the pace a little bit, you've got to up the pace a little bit, you've got to be breathing as well. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. You can hear John Pegg in the corner there say, you've got to up the pace a bit. He's in his 40s, he's 41, Kevin McCauley. And that was the message to Idris Virgo. Yeah, I think um, that, that's fair advice and good advice when you're boxing someone who's 40 plus. Then just, just up the tempo a little bit and go through the gears and make him work. But at the same time, you, you've got to respect this guy because, as I say, McCauley, he's always competitive and he, he'll, he'll produce a good shot now and again. He just did there with that left hook, so that's made, making Virgo think. But making the older man work harder, I think he's definitely or should be the target here for Virgo. We got a warning from the board after throwing water over his previous opponent, Scott Williams, Idris Virgo. And you were telling me and George earlier, Richie, that if he tried anything with Kevin McCauley in the ring, McCauley would. Uh, suddenly become a little bit tougher for him, I think. That's right, yeah. Um, you know, you just got to show your opponent a little bit of respect here and there. And I think Kevin McCauley deserves that anyway, because he is a seasoned, he's been a great pro. And um, I think to show him respect would, would be the way to go about things. But Virgo, you know, he's a young lad and um, there's that, that arrogance about him, which I, I like to see in a lot of the fighters. They want, they've got to be confident. This is a confident sport, it really is. But at the same time, I think respect, especially in this situation, I think is advisable because McCauley's better than he makes out. You know, he's a good opponent for anyone. Good right hand there from Virgo. McCauley took it well and, in fact, landed one of his own there. Yeah, there you go. Throughout this contest, Virgo has that low left hand, doesn't he? And, and McCauley just caught him. Peach of a punch. Good right hand, that was yours, wasn't it, from McCauley? Great right hand. He punches through the target. Oh, oh he's got caught there with a big left hook. Yeah, followed it up well, Virgo. McCauley certainly hurt by that. Look to the body again, Virgo. See, just a little bit of a lack of experience here from there, Virgo, because he's, he's caught McCauley. I don't think McCauley's really recovered from that shot still. Uh, but Virgo's just, he's just eased off a little bit. McCauley now just switching to southpaw just to try to confuse his opponent. But look, he's still on shaky legs here, McCauley. Booming right hand off the gloves there from Idris Virgo, then he looks to the body. And McCauley's still a little bit shaken, I think. To McCauley, very experienced in terms of just slowing things down, and Virgo just fell into that trap there and just eased off the pace a little bit, and that suited McCauley just to recover. I think he has done now. It is like a learning process, uh, Richie, and he's. You can't. Well, he seems like he's waiting for that perfect shot rather yeah. than creating that perfect shot. I thought it was a decent round for both boxers here. I think Virgo had a couple of good shots, but McCauley himself produced a couple of nice moments. There's that right hand, that was the best shot of the round for him. Lovely punch that was. But uh, Virgo came back, and there's that left hook, and that had McCauley on unsteady legs. He got, he got to the end of the round, but uh, he wasn't quite recovered, and good right hand, and there's that left hook again. That was a belter. Three shots at work, huh? Three shots and big shots, huh? Three shots and big shots every time, huh? And look. That's it? Yeah, three shots and big shots. Borders, 10 seconds. Anthony Hill looking after Idris Virgo. Louis Cunahan and uh, John Pegg in Second there as out. well. Round three. Halfway through this scheduled four rounder. Just that one knockout on his record, Idris Virgo, that terrific body shot against Josh Hodgins. And it would be a feather in the cap if he could find a way of stopping Kevin McCauley. <laughs> I can't believe the 
George. Kevin McCauley didn't sit down at the end of that round. He took that big shot towards the end of the round, got back to his corner, and I don't know whether, whether the, where the stall was, but uh, he, he decided to stand up, or his corner made him. Incredible. I used to love my stall, Richie. I used to say me. You know, there's a corner, the, the seconds in the corner getting sacked if that stall ain't in there by the time I get back. Insight from these fighting men. Some fighters do prefer to stand and stretch and maybe stay loose. Cawley's taking some punishment again here from Idris Virgo. Some of the balances for him to get right. You can't uh, argue about the social media profile and all that comes with that. And of course, he's trying to build that, but at the same time, he has to get better at the sport. He's got to get that balance perfectly, Idris Virgo. He's going to march on and have any kind of career. What he's got to watch out for here, Dave, is that low left hand, and as he's moving around to his left, and he just he could walk onto it a right hand over the top, you see, and that's McCall is already throwing it once a good shot. As I say, that that's a belting shot from Virgo. That's the best right hand he's thrown in that in this contest so far. Well, that was a little bit low. That left hook to the body. And, uh, See, Victor Lachlan's going to give him time to recover. And just a little warning there for Idris Virgo. It was close, I think. I mean, he's as hard as nails, he's, he's Kevin McCauley. He took a good right hand just before that. And then one shot, just straight low. There's the right hand there. Now watch the now as he backs him up. Oh, right, right on the, the belt, isn't it? And, you know, he's not one to complain, Kevin McCauley. I thought that was OK. Yeah, just on the belt line, isn't it? But the referee said it was a low shot. And uh, Kevin McCall is taking full advantage of having a bit of a breather here, George, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe he is. Um, yeah, it looked like he was on the, on the line. I thought it was yeah. a, a legal shot. It's a strange one because sometimes in football you say, let the footballer referee the game and judge it from his reaction rather than from the challenge. And I think that was one of those. Victor Lachlan saw the reaction from McCauley and, and sort of went with it. Anyway, they're all smiling. Here he goes, going for it now, isn't he? He knows he's hurt McCauley. He's really up the pace. This, that's got, he's got to watch out for. He's drifting round to the left with that low left hand. He's got to watch what he's doing here. He's going for it, but he's leaving himself open as well. Let him go, stay back. Cawley looking to load up with that right hand. Plans to open a gym after he's retired in Market Harbour, where his new partner lives. Great boxing town, Market Harbour. But he still wants to fight on. His licence runs out next March. He wants another year. Says he loves boxing and he gets the same buzz every time he goes into a ring. Like a drug for some of these fighters, isn't it? Certainly is for him. Yeah, I admire him, I really do. He'll probably His aim will probably get to 300, I would have thought. 300 contests, but yeah, he's done marvellously well. Nice deep breaths. Uh, no stool nice again. Deep, deep breath. Hold it, let it out slow. Good lad. One Mario Kindelin was the first person I think I ever noticed standing up between rounds. Um, lots of the Cuban amateur boxers uh, wouldn't sit down between rounds. Um, don't know if it was an intimidation thing or they just saw it as kind of pointless. Um, they, they, most of them didn't need to stall either. <laughs> yeah, double Olympic champion, but here Idris Virgo, that was the best right hand that he threw. And then there's that shot that was on the belt. And I think the referee bought that, didn't he, from uh, McCauley? He wanted a bit of a break, the lad did. Just a round to go here for Idris Virgo. We're looking for marks out of ten, I'm sure, as he progresses. Seconds out for the fourth and final round. Certainly got a lot of respect for Kevin McCauley, as we all have. He'll hope that 2021 is going to be a big year for him. He's got the potential of terrestrial television, got a seasoned promoter behind him. He's got the, the star quality from another television show. Just needs to get.
get the job done here in his fourth and final round. Well, I think he's got to do as well. He's just keep moving, the feet moving in and out because, again, Kevin McCauley, he's reading this contest. Is McCauley he's trying to take the shots on the elbows and then he's coming back either with the left hook or just a single shot as Virgo is sort of breaking away. So if he's got slow feet and his hands are low, there's always a chance that McCauley could just catch him on the way out. John Pegg says that Idris Virgo has a habit of showing all of his best form in the gym and not on fight night. I think that trying to get him to relax a bit more in there and get into a rhythm and a flow. That's better from him again. He's trying to force the stoppage here, George, I think, if uh, go going with these big shots. Yeah. No no, 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 no knockdown there. Slip from McCauley. McCauley's hanging back now, you know, he's hanging back and he's trying to, uh, you know, catch and fire or just, or slip and, and counter or Virgo's work. Virgo, the round before, he was pressing with his feet but dropping back and countering himself. Now he's trying to dip just like that. He dips on <coughs> over the front foot. Let him go. Step back. But he's not able to generate any power on the back backhand from that head defence. A well, final minute of the contest here. Virgo hopes to finish strongly. Definitely exciting times to be part of this setup. I wonder what's in store for him, but of course this sport's all about levels and he is going to have to improve as he, as he moves up Idris Virgo. There are plenty of faults there, Richie, that potential opponents would look at. Yeah, especially with the left hand, it's, uh, as low it is, and the way he's coming forward and drifting round to the left, then other boxers and other camps will pick up on that. Just that right hand over the top that he could walk onto. But uh, now he's finishing this contest very well indeed. Well, he could be a marked man as well, won't he? That's the other problem as we head into the final ten seconds here. Yep. Let them go. Let them go, boys. Kevin McCauley survives again. This will be 55 defeats in a row without a win since November 2017. But he's impressive in an entirely different way, George, isn't it? Kevin McCauley. Well, there's, a, there's an art to it. There's definitely an art to, to losing at, uh, you know, at this level. Um, riding the shots well, uh, getting yourself out of danger and doing the job, let's be honest. Is, you know, he, his job is to, is to improve prospects. You know, prospects are in there to learn and develop. You can't throw prospects in the deep end and you need people like McCauley to, to bring them along. Show them something new, something different, something they probably hadn't seen before. It's the only way you get to the top. Yeah, decent work out there, I think, for um, Idris Virgo against a solid campaigner in McCauley, who's, who's tough as anything. Yeah, he, he will have learned a lot from that. And it's a learning process that, you know, it's a road of learning that he's on, Dave. Absolutely. Well, that learning process continues. I'd be surprised if it's not all four rounds for Idris Virgo, but we can find out officially from our MC Paul Booth. Our super middleweight contest goes the distance. After four rounds of boxing, we ask our scoring referee, Victor Lachlan, to decide the contest. He has it at 40 points to 36 points in favour of the winner from Birmingham, the body breaker, Idris Virgo.